Hi guys, welcome to TCR, the Crouch Ranch. Today, we are making jelly. We are making jelly. And if you watched one of our recent videos where we, uh, where we harvested and juiced some grapes, we uh, may have said that we were gonna be making some grape jelly soon. But we lied. We lied. <laughs> Not intentionally, but uh, the grape juice may have been consumed before we got around to this video. <laughs> so we've sourced some organic, 100% pure um, apple juice, and we're gonna be making an apple jelly. We're actually gonna make two versions of this apple jelly. Mm -hmm. We have some hot peppers from the garden that we're gonna put in half of it, so. Um, so that I can spicy. She does like things spicy. Yeah, that's why I like him. So let's talk about uh, the items we're gonna need in order to make this jelly. What are we gonna need? Pectin! And you need sugar, and you need jars, which you've got to process. So you have to just basically boil them in hot water to sterilize them. You're going to need, uh, obviously, your juice. Grape juice, apple juice, peach juice, whatever kind of juice. And you're gonna need sugar, and you're gonna need the pectin, what else do we need? That's like all we need. containers to put the juice and like a yeah. strainer to get the froth off. You're gonna need a water bath canner. Oh well, yeah. Right here, which I have my jars in right now processing. And you're gonna need a pot to actually. Listen. No, just kidding. <laughs> Bert thought that shit was fun. And you're gonna need a pot to actually cook your jam, jelly, whatever preserves in. Uh, so let's do this. So this recipe that we're using is based off of four cups of juice. So I'm going to use four cups of juice. This is four cups of juice. <laughs> yeah, Vanna White doesn't have anything on me. Processing jars. So now we're going to turn this on and put our pectin in. So old school pectin came in a box. Now they're doing this and one box was the right amount for a four cup recipe of jelly or jam so with this new style of container six tablespoons is equal to one box so I'm going to do six tablespoons of pectin and that will be the right amount for my four cup recipe there's a lot of math happening there, you. I didn't know how many that was. That was four? I think. Now we're gonna go back and watch that video and see how many that was. So I just added four cups of granulated organic sugar. Make sure you kind of add it in slowly so it doesn't kind of clump up on you and make your life more difficult. I got some that's stuck to my spoon here, but that's all right. You're gonna bring it back to a rolling boil and then you're gonna keep it there for uno momento, one minute. All right, once this gets up to a boil, we're gonna keep it there for a minute. You may have to turn it down a hair so it's not over boiling. All right, so this has been at a rolling boil for about a minute. I'm gonna turn it off. Now I've gotta get all of my jars out of the water here. I'm just gonna throw them on a towel here upside down for a minute. Uh, and let, uh, let any moisture that was inside of them drain out and get ready to fill them up. So we got all our jars here. Uh, we're going to use this little funnel that's made for this to help prevent getting uh, any of this sticky yumminess onto the lid or, or where the lid's going to seal. So. Okay, now a couple things need to happen real quick. One, we need to get the top of these jars cleaned off really well. I know I got some jelly on them. Uh, 
So we're gonna do that right now by rubbing them down with some vinegar. Clean the rims. Rub the outside of the top of the jar and make sure that I don't have any of that stickiness on there because that will prevent it from sealing. And all you need to use is a little bit of white distilled vinegar is fine. We got the tops clean. Now we're going to take our lids that have been in warm water here. Set them on top. And we'll put some rings on. Now, I am only tightening these. Let me rephrase that. I'm not tightening these. Just until they stop turning. Just until they just stop turning on their own, yep. Don't crank them down because you want the air to escape. Yep, you want them to be able to burp when you water bath them. All right, after I've got all of the lids on, I'm gonna take these bad boys and put them back into my water bath canner here. And I've got the heat on. I'm gonna get this up to a boil. It's important to make sure that you give the jars a little bit of space and that you're not stacking them on each other. Now we're gonna bring this up to a boil and we're gonna let them water bath in boiling water for five minutes. All right, well that's water bath canning. We've still got a couple minutes left to go. We're gonna prep the extra ingredient for our next batch. And what I'm gonna use is some farmer's market jalapenos that we grew in our garden, some regular jalapenos that we grew in our garden, some serrano peppers that I actually let go until they turned red and some Thai chili peppers all from our garden and we're also going to use a single lemon so what I'm going to do right now is chop all of these items up and add them to the food processor so that we can add them to our jelly rub your eyes These are not actually that spicy. They're, they're kind of spicy. Um, the farmer's market jalapenos, which are really cool looking, didn't turn out to be that spicy, but the regular jalapenos that I grew turned out to be decently spicy. So this is gonna be an interesting mixture here of peppers. Um, I'll never duplicate it exactly because, well, I didn't count or measure, but uh, yeah, these jalapenos, these jalapenos are hot. <laughs> it lit you up, babe. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, yeah. <clears throat> <laughs> You'll lose a lot of the heat when you cook it. Keep that in mind. So don't be afraid to make it hotter than you think it should be um, when you run it through that water bath canner. You're gonna tame it down considerably. Did you set a timer? Yes, in my mind. Okay, well it should be going off now. Yeah, that. Farmer's Market jalapeno. Honestly, after eating that other jalapeno first, <clears throat> I mean, this is warm. So, we're gonna put all this in here. The food processor. There's also a link to the food processor that we have on our in our Amazon store as well. Seeds and all. 
That's what she said. Now we're going to take this lemon, we're going to slice it like so. I don't put the end rinds in there, but all the rest of the rinds I'm going to put in there. But what I'm going to do, the reason I sliced it, Really easy to get the, uh, the seeds out this way. Okay. Just get those seeds out. And I'm going to put the whole thing in there. Rind it on. We got to make this into as much, as close to a liquid as we can. being the apple juice. Great. By the way, I just turned off my water bath. I'm just going to take and push everything down, making sure everything is coming. <laughs> Woo! You want me to do that for you, white boy? Oh, man. Now I want to smell it. You smell it? No, I said now I want to. I can't smell it. Oh, go it. stick your nose in there, dude. Oh, that smells good. It's not lighting me up, though. Well, that's because you're not normal. Woo! So now Sid's going to pour this out into a measuring container so we know how much is here. <clears throat> And I'm gonna go pull the jars. Woo, that smells hot. And I'm gonna go pull the jars out of the water bath canner, get them sitting on the table to start cooling off, and get some more empty jars in the water bath canner to sterilize, ready to go. Now we're gonna do the same thing over again, except this time, one of our cups, actually a little more than a cup, uh, is going to be this, which is that puree that we just made. Let's close up. Hold on, it wasn't focused. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. This is all peppers and one lemon pureed. So we're gonna go in with this. And make sure and get it all out of there. Because that's yummy. And the rest of our four cups is gonna be our apple. Again, we're going to want six tablespoons of pectin. Smells hot. Let's put in some sugar. Pour some sugar on me. All right. Now, we're going to bring it back to a rolling boil for another minute before we judge. Back that off from a bowl to about a simmer. Try not to get any on the jars this time. Just for the heck of it. Just for grins and giggles. Lundy. 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 What are you doing? What are you doing? Thanks for watching us make our jelly today. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you guys try to make some on your own. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel and click the bell to get the notifications.